the league in the Philippines is you know not in that same level yet as of Thailand when it comes to uh, financial stability when it comes to um, sponsors uh, of course also another main thing is the level of football as a player from the Philippines it's a really uh, attractive offer you know because the Thai league I think in my opinion is the best league in Southeast Asia. Hello, what's going on? Another week, another guest. It's Thai League Central's exclusive talk. Joining me today is Supanburi and Filipino goalkeeper Patrick Dato. He's here to talk about Filipino players in the Thai League, Supanburi, as well as his future. But before getting to all of those topics, Patrick, happy birthday as of the time of the recording. How are you doing? Thank you for the greeting. Um, thank you also for having me here. It's a uh... It's a pleasure to to be your guest. Um, right now, uh, obviously, I suffered a small fracture in my hand uh, as of a week ago. So my um, estimated uh, timeline is about six to eight weeks. Um, I'm targeting to come back uh, the month of April. So hopefully, the last four or five years of the season, um, if everything goes well, hopefully I'll be able to to play those last few games. And yeah, just right now, just, you know, focusing on my rehab, trying to, to get better uh, as quick as possible. All the best for that. Supan Marie will definitely meet you down the stretch. Focusing a bit on Filipino players in the Thai league. I saw that you joined the Supan Marie team in 2019. What was the main factor that enabled you to make that decision to come to Thailand in 2019? Because prior to that, you played your entire career in the Philippines. Correct. Um, obviously, um, an agent was able to um, connect me, you know, from, from uh, my Filipino club to, to Supamburi. Uh, and obviously, as a player from the Philippines, it's a really attractive offer, you know, because the Thai league, I think, in my opinion, is the best league in Southeast Asia. And also in terms of, um, how do you say it, like uh, financially, it's really, really um, a really good option for Filipino players because um, the league in the Philippines is, you know, not in that same level yet as of Thailand when it comes to uh, financial stability, when it comes to um, sponsors. And uh, of course, also another main thing is the level of football. You know, I, I would, uh, it's great to, to immerse myself in this high level of football that will help me improve and I can um, translate it to playing for my national team, you know, so the national team also benefits um, from many of us playing, uh, I think, in Thailand. Now, the Thai League has changed the foreign quota to add an ASEAN slot in 2019. It's a three plus one plus one. They changed it to a three plus one plus three and then unlimited players you can have in your squad now coming from ASEAN. But do you think that decision to add that extra slot for ASEAN players in 2019 make clubs more interested in players like you or uh, other players coming from ASEAN? Having that uh, um, three, you know, three uh, ASEAN quota, you know, gives you, gives the clubs um, reason to really explore that option because um, if used properly, as you can see um, with um, several teams, it can really be a massive help for the clubs. Last year, first leg, Subamburi had three Filipinos, which, you know, we almost played um, almost all of the games. So we were also key players, you know, for the club. So, you know, if used properly and, you know, if you have, um, of course, um, limited options, it is a really good possibility for the clubs to have. Talking from a big picture now, year three for you in Thailand. Yeah. What do you make of the Thai league and what do you make of living and playing professionally in Thailand? I love it. Um, since I got here, I was really, really um, comfortable. I was able to settle in um, fairly quickly. Um, I love the club. I love the city. Uh, I'm not sure how I would feel uh, obviously with other clubs because obviously I've only played for Sukhamburi so far. But, you know, um, getting a feel of, of the Thai league, of playing also away games, I don't think it will be any different for other clubs. Um, I think I'll be able to adjust well also. But, you know, just in general, uh, the league... Uh, the level of football, the, the amount of interest, you know, in this league, in the clubs, um, the challenge of every week, you know, playing uh, strong teams is something that I'm really hoping that I can, you know, um, continue for at least a couple, two or three more years in here. 
um, in Thailand, you know. So I talked to Michael Falkesgaard regarding the Filipino players moving to Thailand. And he's told me there's a bit of a community here. You guys get together. There's lots of friendships after the games, talking, catching up. What is it like being a part of the Filipino community playing in the Thai league? I'm sure there's lots of love because every team you go, there's at least one guy from the Philippines, right? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, every whenever there's a Filipino on the opposing team, definitely a little bit before the game. And also after the game, you know, we chat, we talk about um, the situation of, of um, one another. And of course, we also talk about the, the national team. Um, if there's any updates, if there's any, if there's something coming up. And, you know, just generally um, asking about uh, each other's um, status at the moment. You know, we are also all friends outside of football. And, um, you know, also as Filipinos, you don't get to talk to too much um, uh, compatriots here in, in Thailand, you know. So being at least being able to speak uh, straight English also is something that uh, is rarely, is a rare occasion here, here in Thailand. So definitely every time we go up against a team with a Filipino, you know, we always catch up. Professionalism and salary seems to be two biggest components why Filipino players move over to Thailand. Last question around this topic. Is it a big difference compared to other ASEAN leagues in terms of the way the league is set up, in terms of how players are paid? I can only speak for the Philippines because I haven't played um, in the other leagues. I've competed against some ASEAN clubs in the AFC Cup, you know, some Malaysian clubs and, and uh, Singaporean clubs in the AFC Cup. But with, their, with the other leagues, you know, I cannot say for sure. But for the Philippines, definitely. It's a big, big, big jump um, for in every aspect, you know, uh, as you said, salary, professionalism, organization of the league, even the interest and uh, uh, the promotion or the popularity of the league, you know, it's, I really think that Thai league is, is really ahead of, of um, uh, the ASEAN region, you know, in, in terms of who is the best league. Uh, I think Thai league is also one of the best leagues in Asia. Uh, if I'm not mistaken. So, um, you know, to play here is really, for me, um, an unbelievable opportunity. And I think uh, the Thai league also will continue to to progress even more, you know, with, with of course, you know, um, as the years go by. On to Supanburi. It's year three for you. Last couple of years, man, hovering around that relegation. So last season, actually, I was commentating your final match day against Suko Tai. And wow, what an atmosphere. And in the end, you guys were able to pull it off. Of course, Suhanburi, you want to be in an area that's safer than now. But what has to change in your opinion? I think uh, the last two or three years, there's so many changes in terms of uh, player personnel that have that's been done. Um, it was always difficult at the beginning of the season to, to establish our identity, to play with rhythm you know, because so many new players come in every year. Um, I believe that if we are given an opportunity, for example, if we are able to keep the majority or the core of this year's club and be able to carry it over for next year, you know, of course, um, given that we stay in the, in, in, uh, the Thai League first division, uh, I think we will have a really good chance because I think it's so important that the chemistry, the familiarity with the players and, of course, the momentum, you know, like, our second leg is also much better than the first leg. So if we can see this through and if we can continue this to next year with, you know, a little bit of changes only, then I think that's, um, that's something different that we could do that I think will work much better compared to the previous two years. There's a lot of interaction between players and fans, especially online on social media. We've seen that Supanburi fans aren't that pleased about the club's performance as a player, how do you deal with this, knowing that, of course, there's going to be criticism, but at the same time, you have to go out there and play your best and perform to your peak performance? Yeah, I mean, I think they have all the right, you know, to, to uh, voice their opinions. Uh, I think they are the fans, you know, they are the, they're actually the most important part of the club. Um, they're kind of like the stakeholders of the club as well. So if we don't perform well, if we don't get good results, then, you know, I think it's a good thing that they are dissatisfied because it shows that they care, you know, but for me personally, 
you know, it's something that I have to just block out because I'm a player and it's something out of my control. I just have to focus on my performance and contribute uh, to the best of my ability. And the fans are also intelligent uh, people. You know, they have football IQ and they know um, if you're giving your best, they know if you're doing your job properly. And if you do, then they will appreciate it, you know. So that's the best thing I can do. And of course, also, I think everybody in the team uh, hopefully thinks that way. And, you know, the results are, there's a lot of factors, you know, that, that are out of our control. And sometimes it goes your way, sometimes it doesn't go your way. It's just a normal cycle of, of a team. But if you give your 100%, if you give your 100% effort, I think they appreciate it. And, you know, that's the thing that has to be there every single game, my opinion. Fantastic answer there. One final question I have for you. 32 years of age, correct? Your birthday today? Yes. <laughs> what yes, is correct. the future like for Patrick Dato? Are you looking into coaching? Are you looking into something non-related to football at all? What would you like to do? Um, I feel that I'm still pretty young for my for my position, actually, you know, and um, I feel that I'm reaching my peak, you know, at this age, you know, I've, I've had a really good past couple of years, you know, uh, in this league, and I know that I can, I still have a lot to offer. I would like to play, you know, maybe two or three more years before I come back home, because I also miss home, honestly. Um, I have not uh, thought about coaching. I think my short-term plan is just really to, to keep playing, you know, for the next two years. And of course, uh, I'm really planning to come home for a short vacation after the season ends because I haven't been home for a couple of years. Uh, but aside from that, you know, um, I don't know. I, I really don't know. Um, three, four or five years from now, I really have no idea how it's going to happen. I have, a, I have a mindset that I have to only focus on what's, a, what's in the present moment because nothing is guaranteed anyway. I want to make the most out of everything, uh, especially in the present moment. and. Um, what I have now, that's what I'm really focusing on. So don't really know for sure. You know, I'm sorry to, to not be able to give you the clear answer on your question. But I think the short term, yeah, you know, just have a vacation, finish this season, hopefully I get to play. And then next season, I'm really looking uh, to play here again, hopefully, you know. Well, all the best for that. Thank you so much for sparing time to talk with us here today on Thai League Central's exclusive interview. All the best. Hope your recovery goes well, and I'll see you soon in Thailand. Thank you so much. My pleasure, and I wish you guys all the best as well.